议和谈判十二年本月底将到最后期限。What if the negotiators fail to reach a deal? They can extend the duration of the negotiation. Yeah. 伊朗善打持久战。I don't know any other country in the Middle East enough powerful and enough influences to bring in peace through the fighting against the terrorism. 专访伊朗最高领袖、高级顾问、伊朗国家利益委员会战略研究中心主任阿里·阿克巴尔·维拉亚提。大家好，欢迎收看《风云对话》，我是付小田。今天我们节目的嘉宾是来自伊朗的外交界元老级人物维拉亚提。他在一九九七年前的十六年时间里一直任伊朗的外交部长，而现在他的主要身份是伊朗最高领袖哈梅内伊的高级外交顾问，并且长期活跃在伊朗的外交事务当中。今年的几次外访就包括在莫斯科跟普京会面，在大马士革跟阿萨德会面，以及在贝鲁特与萨拉姆会面。一举一动可谓牵动着各大国神经。一说到伊朗浪漫文艺的人，或许会联想到波斯帝国、萨珊王朝、帖木儿、巴列维等历史著名的时期跟人物。强盛、美丽、富饶是这个国家的标签，而现实中的人往往会通过伊朗联想到伊朗和谈、恐怖主义。伊朗是叙利亚的死党，也是以色列的死敌。近几十年来，在国际外交舞台上和美国长期强硬叫板的国家为数不多，伊朗就是其中一个。阿里·阿克巴尔·维拉亚提曾担任过四届外交部长。二零一三年，伊朗总统大选的参选人，备受伊朗最高领袖哈梅内伊的器重。五月末，亚信非政府论坛首次年会在北京举行。维拉亚提表示，许多伊斯兰国家也是恐怖主义活动的受害国，伊朗一直在帮助受害者。亚信峰会可以成为一个共同打击恐怖主义和极端主义的重要机构或组织框架。Good afternoon, Mr. Veliati. Welcome to our program. So you have said that Iran can play a key role in promoting the security in Asia. What do you mean by that? Iran, as an, an important and powerful country in the Middle East, and stable country, which has uh, great influence in different parts of Asia, and also have very friendly relations with some. Countries in the region, in Middle East, in the Middle East, in the Central Asia, in Caucasia, and also other parts of Asia. So, it's quite natural if we say that we can play important role. Well, technically speaking, how is Iran going to play the key role? And also, um, I wonder when you say Asia, what sort of range are you referring to? In some problematic cases, like Daesh and also some other terrorist group. Inside Asia and also in the Middle East, Iran has enough potentials to fight against this terrorism and help the countries like Iraq, like Syria, like Lebanon, like Yemen to fight against the terrorism. It can be said that Iran can play an important role for the bringing peace and tranquility to the region, and also to、uh, to this continent. I don't know any other country in the Middle East that is enough powerful and enough influences inside other countries to bring in peace through the、uh, fighting against the terrorism. There is no any other country to do this because,、uh, practically speaking, we have shown that we have、uh, such a potentials. For example, you can see that in in Syria, at the beginning when the Terrorists started to fight against the legal government of Syria. We have、uh, been asked to help them, and we did. Now you can see that after four years of fighting against terrorism,、uh, still the government is there, and still capital and important cities of Syria is are in the hand of the government of Syria. That's because of the. Uh, offering the help of Iran to the friendly country like Syria. 近两周以来，伊斯兰国组织对伊拉克、叙利亚接连发起猛烈进攻。五月十七日，攻占了伊拉克安巴尔省省会拉马迪市。随后二十日，又占领了叙利亚古城巴尔米尔。五月十九日，维拉亚提前往大马士革，与叙利亚总统巴沙尔·阿萨德举行了会晤。
you met with uh, Mr. Basher. Yes. So how's the meeting and uh, what are you going to do next? And uh, also, I wonder how does Iran respond to the reports or let's say allegation of supporting the terrorism? That's a false allegation against Iran. Iran is uh, fighting against terrorists. Those people who cut the head of innocent people in Syria and, and Iraq, they are terrorists. Those who are helping these people, they are supporting the terrorism. When we are fighting against these terrorists and helping the legal government, it means that we are against terrorism. For example, you can take a look at the book which is written by Mrs. Clinton, who used to be the foreign minister of the United States. She said that the United States has helped uh, Daesh to be a group uh, and fighting against the legal government in Syria and Iraq. She herself admitted that they have created this group. If it is so, everybody knows that uh, Daesh is a terrorist group. Mm -hmm. They have burned uh, an alive uh, pilot from Jordan, you have seen on TV. So which one of these groups are terrorists? If the United States have admitted that they have uh, created this group, so they are supporters of terrorism. It's quite clear. So you're saying that the, the American government American, is yes. American, the uh, this is not an uh, accusation. This is an admission that uh, Mrs. Killington, in her book, uh, said that during his, her tenure in the foreign ministry, she uh, supported Daesh and also created, they have helped Daesh to uh, make a terrorist group in Iraq and Syria. If it is so, we don't need any other reason to say that the United States is supporting the terrorist group. 有分析认为，以美国为首的国际联盟打击伊斯兰国的行动近来接连受挫，说明这很可能是出于某种政治目的，故意拖延懈怠。一些国家出于自身利益考虑，想利用伊斯兰国打击巴沙尔政权，同时
。然而，在对抗伊斯兰国问题上，伊朗却又是真枪实干。有人说，在打击伊斯兰国问题上，美国采取的是以一制一的态度，也就是靠伊拉克打伊斯兰国，消极策略，因此收效不佳。而与之规模化作战，并且取得成效的，恰恰是宣布脱离伊拉克、获得独立的库尔德斯坦以及伊朗。在伊朗问题上，除了与恐怖主义势力的瓜葛以及与伊斯兰国的对抗以外，我们还关心的问题是伊朗和谈。今年六月三十号是此轮和谈的底线。五月三十日，美国国务卿克里与伊朗外长扎里夫在日内瓦就伊核问题举行谈判。会后，扎里夫表示，伊朗与国际调停六方在谈判中仍存在技术性和政治性分歧。此前，六大国已将六月三十日设定为与伊朗达成最终和协议的最后期限。Now the Iran nuclear talk、yes. is reaching the、yes. last phase, and whenever it comes to this topic, there is like a watchword saying nothing is agreed until everything is agreed. So now, how likely you think it is to get everything agreed in time? No, it is not the situation that we can say that. Uh, everything has been agreed. They have talked a lot, and、uh, Iran strongly believes、uh, in negotiations and continuation of negotiations to reach a just, honorable result of these talks. If we are talking about the just solution, it means that、uh, Iran should、uh, benefit from the this right. That every country which has signed the NPT Non-Proliferation Treaty can use nuclear energy peacefully for producing power, like China, like Japan, and some other countries, like and Germany, they are using the nuclear energy for the peaceful purposes. If it is so, Iran also is looking for this. If you really firmly believe so, why would you agree to、uh, compromise? From the other side. The、uh, five plus one countries want to be assured that Iran will not、uh, use this energy for the military purposes,、mm -hmm. and we also strongly believe that the use of nuclear energy for the military purposes should be forbidden for every country, including Iran.、Mm -hmm. So we want to assure them that we will not using the nuclear energy for the military purposes. Only we want to use it for the peaceful、uh, purposes. This negotiation is for these two important purposes, and we do hope that we can reach a result which is positive for both sides. Right, and we have seen the Iran nuclear talk going on for like almost a decade, and、uh, we understand that the, the breakout the capability of Iran is a major concern to some countries. While on the other hand, Iran doesn't like the sanctions, so it seems like every country. Every party is clear what they want, what they don't. Then, what are the major obstacles in the talk? I think that the obstacles, which mostly have been created by the United States, the United States at the beginning,、uh, they have sent a message to Iran、uh, through a country like Oman. The King of Oman came to Iran and told us. That the United States is abide by the use of nuclear purposes、uh, for the peaceful、uh, purpose, and we started our negotiations. After a period, we have found out that the United States is against what they have promised at the beginning. So、uh, we think that the in every course of negotiations uh, they uh, bring. Some new elements in the negotiations. Sometimes they admit that Iran can do something. Next time, they will be against the same thing that at the beginning they have agreed upon. So we do believe that the United States is looking for something else, and the talking about the nuclear issue is a pretext. We think that finally the United States should admit that Iran is enough. Powerful and also decided,、uh, determined to、uh, use nuclear energy only peacefully, without any breaking out. Breaking out. This is our, this is our determination. Is there any obstacles from inside of Iran? No, 
I mean, how unified is Iran when it comes to this? The main policy and the important decision are being made by the leader of our country in the foreign policy and also in the internal policy, internal issues. So if our top leader, which is in the top of uh, decision makers in our country, if decides something after his consultations with others, that's the end of this line. So it means that if there are some different views by some parties or some persons, it doesn't make any difference because when uh, our leader decides about the important issues in the foreign policy, that's enough. Mm. So how is your supreme leader coming in these days? His general situation, mm -hmm. very good, very mm -hmm. healthy. Yeah. And stable, healthy. Yes, yeah, he's, good. he's mm. sporting, he practice and exercise, uh, going toward the mountain climbing and walking, and he's very strong. Congratulations to him. Thank you very much. Now, if we look at the future, let's say, if a deal is to be reached by 1st of July, so what do you think that would mean for Iran and the Iranian people? That would be a successful result and positive result if we can reach on the 1st of July positive conclusion which is suitable uh, for both sides. And we do hope that we can do that. And uh, there's still some concerns that, that uh, even if a deal is reached, but it's possible that uh, the hostility, like uh, mentally or psychologically, will still exist uh, in Iran against uh, other countries. Historically and culturally, Iranians are uh, very uh, calm people without any aggressive position in the foreign policy since the beginning of uh, our revolution and also during our long history. Nobody could remember or it is not uh, mentioned in the history that Iranians uh, are aggressive people. So our people are civilized people with about 10,000 years of civilization. Uh, one of the most cultural oriented people are the uh, Iranian. So it is not a position that we can imagine that if Iran could get a victory in this negotiation, we will be aggressive, we will become aggressive. No, it's not true. All right, and uh, how about the uh, economic development opportunities? I think that Iran, Iran uh, has enough potentials for growing economy, development, and I mean the uh, potentials are enough including the energy resources and also the potential that all people, our youth have. We have more than seven million uh, young people who have been graduated from the universities, so uh, there are potentials for the progressing of the uh, science and technology in our country. And we have shown that we have grown our position in the uh, at level, high level of uh, science and technology when you go to uh, ISI and some other record, scientific records in the world, you can see that Iran is one of the faster of countries which published many uh, scientific articles during last 10-15 years. So it means that we have enough uh, capacities for the uh, development of science and technology and these are elements that can uh, enable us to grow more and more. 随着伊核问题引起广泛关注和中东安全局势不断恶化，身处伊斯兰腹地的小国以色列对伊朗近年来的成长倍感紧张，和伊朗的对峙也逐步升级。伊核问题谈判期限临近，外界对以色列与伊朗关系的未来更充满各种猜测。It seems like Iran has been holding quite a strong position against Israel. The reason for this position is Israel has occupied this territory which belongs to some other, na other nation. The land belongs to the Palestinians, which have been expelled from their own territory, historical territory, and now there are 11 Palestinians 
which are uh, in a bad situation and bad position. So no matter what happens after 1st of July, the position Iran has been holding on the issue of Israel will not change. There is no, there is no changing in the position of Iran towards Israel. What if the negotiators uh, fail to reach a deal by end of in the the nuclear? So, yeah, what will happen next? I think that uh, they can ex extend the uh, duration of so the on negotiations. And on. <laughs> yeah. I thank you very much. Okay, thank you. You are most welcome. 在采访最后，我问维莱亚提先生，如果和谈谈不拢怎么办？他说再延期。其实像这样的设定日期、谈判延期、取消再设定、再延期的过程，已经是周而复始很多年。那是为什么在说延期的时候，我们从维莱亚提先生的神情语气中体会不到其他内容？在核设施和谈判问题上，美国多次指责伊朗隐瞒以及不合作，而伊朗正如在采访中维雷亚提先生所言，多次抗议美国出尔反尔，缺乏谈判诚意。维雷亚提说，谈判之所以久拖不决，最大的障碍就在美国。而有观察分析指，其实伊朗内部在核谈判问题上存在很大分歧，例如，伊朗革命卫队就是伊朗现状的受益者。而对此，维莱亚提予以否认。他说：“领袖意见高于一切，其他声音不值一提。”离此轮伊朗和谈最后期限还有一个月不到的时间，伊朗能否就此摆脱国际制裁、摆脱经济萧条，迎来一个新的时代？我们很快就能看到答案。感谢收看本期节目，我们下周见。